Wow, that's pretty funny. I was filming in, in my um, tabac where I buy cigarettes and stuff, and apparently they just changed management. See, it's in a very old building. And I went in to film and to say hi to the husband and wife who run the place, uh -huh. and they're not there anymore. And the new manager kind of didn't want me filming in there, so I left. Now, this is, this is one of the pharmacies around here. And pharmacies here are very, very different in France. These people are like doctors, and you can go straight to them without going to a doctor and ask them, uh, tell them what's wrong with you. And they're qualified to give you a lot of things uh, just directly. This is a little bakery, but they don't actually do much baking here. Unfortunately, the good uh, bakers are, uh, you know, pastry makers and stuff, those artisans. That's disappearing here to some extent. Now this is my supermarket. It's called the Franc Prix. And I don't need anything. Oh gosh, they're open Monday. That's that's Easter. Oh, that's terrible for the workers. Now, I hope that... Oh, here's where you can get boxes. Now, people are shouting at me. I hope they're not going to hassle me. Uh, this is my Chinese restaurant. They're great. They have a good buffet. And there was um, a squash court here, but I knew it wouldn't work out. This neighborhood is not upscale enough. And also, the French cannot pronounce squash, so how could that work? Now, here's the halal butcher for the many Muslim people in this neighborhood. And they sell halal meat. They often don't like to be filmed that much. And um, there's a laboratory here where I get my blood tests and stuff. Because I'm handicapped and I have to be checked a lot. Bonjour! <laughs> and uh, here is a radiologist office. Oh, he's great! <laughs> and uh, I seem to be causing quite a stir, so I'm going to go home. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, here's my guardian. He's new, and he's really nice. The old one retired, and we have a lot of plumbing problems here. I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of slip inside with him because I'm kind of creating a brouhaha here in the neighborhood. Ça va? Ça va beaucoup mieux. Oui, Grâce à vous et, et le monsieur uh, professionnel, tout va bien. A plus. Yeah, it's very uh, unpleasant here. Um, these, you know, building management companies um, get paid a lot of money to run, you know, apartment buildings and stuff. And generally they're very bad. They're really very bad. I've had to hire a lawyer recently to... Um, to go after these people. I mean, we, we pay a lot of money here. We all do. There are people in the building who rent and people here who own. This is not um, a low to middle income housing project. This is a private building. Now here, okay, go up to, up to my floor. I'm lucky because there I am, see? Hello, aren't I beautiful today? Oh la la. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of people here are very complacent and they're used to monopolies and it's kind of a nanny state and I always try to get them to be motivated and to, um, you know, to get involved in their lives here in the government, to vote, you know, to speak up. They're just not as motivated as I find Americans are. You know, they expect to have things done for them. And, um, you know, it used to work for them in the past, but I just don't think that they can carry on that way. All right, I'm home. Let me turn on my light. Yeah, here's some of my artwork. <laughs> this is a punk picture I did in the 70s. It's print. And the teacher, uh, the professor, Lynn Forgotch, didn't like it very much. Um... She didn't like my punk images in 1976, 1975, 77. So she gave me a bad grade for the course. 
And there's a watercolor I did of a friend of mine, very dear friend of mine, in New York. Oh, I did that years ago. I did that uh, beginning of 1980. And here's a picture that my spouse took of me here in Saint Denis. I'm a model. I've been a model since 1975, and my spouse has frequently photographed me. Our apartment is a lot bigger and more modern than most apartments that you'll find in France. This um, quite modern kitchen uh, with a dishwasher and everything, this is not typical. Really, it's not typical. Um, we had it done in 1997, and uh, from the, the cockroaches, here's one of my paintings, from the cockroaches in the, um, from the neighbors and stuff, and floods here occasionally, um, the, the uh, appliances have been damaged by the cockroaches. This is a, an original silk screen of the endless summer. It's for sale, by the way, and this is for sale. I used to know John Sachs, and this is a great poster he did of himself, and Sen Quan Chi, uh, may they both rest in peace, uh, is credited for the photo here. Um, so my spouse has very mixed feelings about, see there's the housing projects across the street, which are going to be dynamited. My spouse has very, very mixed feelings about this modern kitchen. He kind of, um, disapproves of my modern ways, even though I, I have, like, no gadgets. I only have a juicer. Um, uh, there's sort of a cultural clash. The kitchen used to be much prettier. The, um, refrigerator was hidden and stuff with these nice green cabinets because the French don't like the refrigerator to be seen. The dishwasher was also hidden with green paneling. But all that had to be removed um, because of various problems that we've had here. See the shelf area. All this used to be concealed. Okay, that's enough of my house. I don't feel like showing you any more. Uh, this is Harry Smith, though. Ah, Harry. All right, signing off. Thanks for sharing with me.